Hey guys, it's Modic here and this is the Moto 1 Power. So a couple of days back Motorola finally rolled out the Android Pie update for the Moto 1 Power in India, but then unfortunately me along with a lot of users still haven't received the OTA. So Motorola is actually rolling it out in batches, so I am not sure when all of the phones in India will get the Android Pie OTA update. But then don't worry, if you want Android Pie right now, you can install it because in this video I'm going to show you how to manually install Android Pie on your Moto 1 Power. It's a very easy process, you don't have to unlock the bootloader of the phone, you don't have to root it as well and the warranty of the phone will also stay intact. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Now before we start, please make a note that this method might be obsolete if you've already gotten the OTA update. If your phone has gotten the Android Pie OTA update, just update it via the official way. And this method will only work on the September security patch and you have to have the Indian variant of the Moto 1 Power. I'm not sure if this works on the international variants but I've tried it out on my Indian variant running on the September security patch and it's working. So to get Android Pie on your Moto 1 Power, what you have to do is first of all download the zip file that is linked in the video's description. And once you've downloaded the zip file, paste it in the root directory of your phone, which is basically the default directory of your phone, as you can see on the screen right now. Once you have the zip file on your phone, what you have to do is go to settings, here select show system apps, and then you need to scroll down to the Moto update app. Now here go to permissions and give the storage permission to this app. Now what you have to do is go to settings once again, go to updates and check for updates once again. And this time around the phone will recognize an Android Pie update so just click on install and let the phone do its work. It takes around 20 to 25 minutes to completely install the update on this phone so please be patient, let the phone do its work and don't worry none of your data is going to get erased. So as you can see the phone has rebooted and now we are officially running on Android 9 Pie. So this update brings a lot of new changes on the Moto 1 Power. First of all, dual Volte is supported on this phone. I think they've also added a panorama feature in the stock camera app and Motorola says that they have improved the camera performance I think as well as the battery life with the Android Pie update. The biggest thing is the dual Volte support and you've got the Android Pie interface, it's completely stock Android so you've got the uh, gestures and all of that that you get with Android Pie. And overall I'm really happy that Motorola delivered the promise of the update. I know I did bash them a lot in my full review for not giving updates on time but I'm happy they proved me wrong and if you have the Moto 1 power then definitely try this out and get Android Pie on your phone. It's definitely worth the update. In fact I'm considering to re-review this phone because quite a few things have changed and now even Google camera with night sight is working on the Moto 1 power. In fact I think even EIS is working at 4K in the Google camera app so I have to test it out and if, so if you guys would like to see a re-review of this phone then definitely definitely let me know in the comments and I would make sure that I make that video. So yeah, this was my quick video about installing Android Pie on the Moto 1 Power. If your phone is still running on Android Oreo, then please try this method out. It's very safe, it won't affect your warranty and you will have the latest version of Android. And lastly, if you'd like to buy the case or the tempered glass that I have on my Moto 1 Power, then the links to that are in the video's description. That wraps up my video about the Android Pie update on the Moto 1 Power. I'll be back with a review of Android Pie on this phone. So if you're new to the channel, then definitely hit the red subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you don't miss such videos. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll be back in the notifications very very soon. Peace.